This is a situation I can't say I've ever seen before. In an SHL game at Swedish Hockey League, goaltender Kazimir Kaskasuo threw his water bottle at the back of a referee after letting up the game-winning goal in overtime. An article on scouting the refs had a quote about the situation from the goaltender. He said, after an obvious too many men on the ice and or offside in the same situation, I let in a poor goal and an important loss and my emotions and frustrations took over. As an athlete on the highest level, I should handle these things in another way. In this case, I didn't and for that, I'm very very sorry and feel embarrassed about it. I apologize to the referee, my teammates, the organization, and the fans. The game took place yesterday. It's near the end of the SHL season and saw Lex and IF lose to HV. Kaskasua was suspended for five games and also received a fine for the incident. And to me, that seems appropriate. Now, obviously, the chance of actually injuring someone with a water bottle, especially near the end of the game when it's probably empty, is essentially zero. However, the foundation for not just professional sports but any sort of competitive sports is a sense of respect for the rules and refereeing it's the same way you can eventually be kicked out for jawing at a ref is it because you're going to hurt their feelings probably not it's because you've got to ultimately respect and be deferential to the referee's authority even if you think they did something wrong anytime that moves to physical well yeah i think the five game suspension is warranted interestingly i was actually already aware of kaskasuo after starting this hockey youtube channel i've started watching a bunch of hockey vloggers. I was already pretty into the podcast scene, but there are also a bunch of good, like, hockey lifestyle vloggers. A lot of you probably already know Nasher. He's great. Same with Coach Jeremy. I've been watching True Crew as well. There's Travis Ridgen. And, of course, Casimir Kaskasua, one of the best vloggers, in my opinion, actually. He's been detailing his life this year, preparing for and now playing in the SHL. He's a backup, but we get lots of really interesting insight into his mental state and how he prepares for things. So, check his channel out. You know, everyone makes mistakes not a big deal i checked his recent videos and people have been leaving just a weirdly unnecessary amount of hate on there just not necessary at all feel free to go and counteract that with some positivity if you want or maybe it is the end of the world i don't know